ultimately, the kick itself was, you know, I had I had an idea that they had a couple timeouts. Uh, we snapped the first one, I kicked it through, and you know, after that, I knew uh, there was no way I was going to miss. With all this, this season has been a bit of a struggle at times. Was confidence ever an issue for you? And, and what was your going through your mind when you went out there for that last kick? Uh, I don't think uh, my confidence has ever wavered. Uh, I've gone the whole season knowing this was going to be a tight game. I had everybody tell me it was going to be a tight game. Uh, and, and to be honest, I, I expected the whole season to uh, have that opportunity. Uh, I thought I would have an opportunity against Michigan. thought I'd have an opportunity uh, in this game. And uh, even in Nebraska late, I thought I'd have one. So uh, it feels good to actually get one. Describe that feeling when you knew it was going through. Well, uh, after I hit it, I knew it was going through. I watched it for a second uh, as it flew through the air. It was straight. And uh, I don't even know if I saw it go through the upright because by then I was gone. I was running. I didn't want to get tackled or any of that. Uh, I didn't want to have to pull a Jalen Watts Jackson. I was trying to stay on my feet as long as possible. <laughs> yeah, the what would you describe your celebration there, Michael? Well, to be honest, I played too much FIFA, which is a video game. That's a pretty common uh, celebration. And uh, I was just trying to go the whole length of the field. Uh, and uh, kind of spur of the moment, wasn't really thinking. Did it really help you at all when they call that timeout to get a practice one? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I saw the ball go through the first time, and uh, you know, I, I figured they'd probably call one timeout. Uh, to me, I think that's always an advantage, and I embrace it. And it just shows that the other team knew I was going to win the game. So. Where did that rank? You got the game ball I'll say that's the, that's the most important kick I've ever made in my entire life. I rehearsed as a kid over my swing set ever since I could kick a ball, uh, saying, you know, this kicks to beat Ohio State, this kicks to beat Ohio State, and being from Toledo, Ohio means the world. And I received the game ball, and uh, Connor Cook gave it to me, uh, and I hope he'll be back because, uh, you know, we got some we got our goals in front of us still. It was always Ohio State, never anybody else. Always Ohio State. State. But were you kicking for Michigan when you were doing that as a kid? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what were you kicking for? Kicking for myself, kicking for my family, kicking for my support group, kicking for my uh, uh, people who gave me the opportunity uh, from a very young age to uh, to kick the ball. And uh, I'm pretty much just a glorified soccer player. I went to a lot of soccer camps. Got to thank my dad, uh, my mom, and uh, as you can see, I'm a little emotional. And uh, I had ice in my veins, but I can hardly uh, keep it together right now. Uh, so I just got to thank them and my entire family, my sisters Jenny and Catherine. Uh, they mean the world to me. So. Michael, you had a lot of offers though. Was Ohio State not on that list? I saw your offer from everywhere. No, Ohio State uh, did not offer me, and uh, it's personal. A little extra special beating Ohio State, 23-game win streak. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they're they're number three team in the country. I think uh, one thing I always say is, you know, whatever the environment, whatever uh, the thing, I still got to go out there and do my job. Uh, and whenever you can knock off a team like Ohio State in their place, I think uh, that's something you'll hold on to for a very long time. For, for team